what's up guys what it look like what it is what it ain't y'all already know what it is you are now intergalactically connected I'm King Astro let's go so today we're gonna be talking about the five negatives of watching porn or the negative effects of porn negative effects uh, there is no positive really so this is gonna be the effects of porn physically emotionally spiritually uh, biologically mentally interdimensionally all right I'm gonna break this down okay and how it all relates to semen retention and why you need to be on semen retention okay we're gonna break this down all right so first things first we're gonna go on a basic level the physical biological level all right now when you watch porn okay there's just when you're releasing to porn there's an effect that it has on your overall physical, mental, and emotional state, okay, and spiritual state. Physically, when you watch porn and you jerk off to it and release, you're pretty much letting go of all your power. You're pretty much letting go of all your vitality and what sustains you. And what does sustain you? It's that vital, vital life force known as your semen. Okay? Now let me explain why this is important. Okay, you got all these little, little, tiny, tiny little species floating around in you. Okay? And to move from point A to point B, for something to wiggle, for something to swim, you need energy. Okay, you need to have energy and to exert energy in order to move in this third dimensional world. So, you have millions of little, little species in you <laughs> that literally have energy. Energy that's making it move in you. Energy that's making you swim in you. So, you got a million of those in you and what do you do? You squander it away. You squander away your life force. And then what happens? What happens after you're done releasing? Even if you're not watching porn. You're just done releasing. What happens to you? You feel drained. Don't you? You feel like you don't want to do anything creative. You feel like weak, you know, and this is why, because all that energy you just released, it's all gone. Not to mention, all right, all the vital, 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 vital nutrients that you lose every time you release. A to zinc, man, just do your research on it. From vitamin A to B to C to D, all the way down to zinc. That's why there's a zinc deficiency in males, okay? If you look at a statistic, it's a high deficiency of zinc in males. And that's because 95, 99% of guys are fapping the porn. Guys, this is why you need to go no fat semen retention. Okay, because then you get to hold in that energy. Then you get to harvest it. And then use it to manifest. You got to keep that energy in you. Don't squander it. Okay, every time you release, you lose four weeks of energy. You lose a whole month worth of work, guys. It's 30 days, okay? I explained the process before, okay? It's seven steps process to make semen. 
go it goes from food to chow okay chow to flesh flesh to blood okay blood to bones bones to marrow okay and then marrow to semen and each of those steps takes three to five days three to five days okay so every time you eat something it takes 30 days for your body to break it down into semen now that's a long ass time that's a long time okay put it like this it's like money in the bank alright this is why you need to retain for as long as possible okay because if you only retain for let's say 30 days and then you relapse well guess what you have just lost a whole month so that that was just for nothing now you need a whole nother month to build it back up if you release twice in a month then guess what you're in a deficit you're in a deficit and you got a lot of work to do so what I say is when you're retaining, make it your goal to go as long as you can, as long as possible. Because let's say you go three months, four months, and you squander it once, which I don't recommend. I recommend you not squandering at all. I recommend celibacy and waiting till God puts the right one in front of you. That's going to help and support you on this journey. Okay, who's going to understand what you're going through and, and what you're doing as a man. As a new man. You're holding in your energy. And you're not squandering it unless you want to use it to create. To create new life. Or else you store it in to create whatever that your passion is. Create a new business. You know... Put it into your workout, whatever. Put it into your spirituality. Meditate more. Uh, astral project. Not telling you what you have to do. I'm just telling you, you know, my experiences and what I do. Okay, it's up to you to find your own path. Okay, but this is this is the beginning to find your own path. You have to retain. You have to retain if you want to know what your purpose is. When you retain, your purpose will be revealed to you. So quit squandering it away to porn, all right? So that's one of the negatives of porn physically. So now let's look at the emotional effects of porn. Now when you squander away all your life force, you're pretty much doing just that. Your life is being drained from you. And that's why you see a lot of people walking around looking drained. Like they have no energy, you just look miserable. That's because you're going for that dopamine high, right? You're going for that dopamine high all the time, and your brain is getting confused. Your brain is thinking, man, I'm getting laid three times a day. You know what I'm saying? Like, but the truth is, you're not. So you're just lying to yourself. So you might get that little uh, three seconds, which I'm pretty sure that's how long it lasts. That little three seconds of pleasure, and then what? You're back to square one. You're back to feeling miserable. You're back to feeling lonely. You're back to feeling shameful and disgusted about what you just did. Because you know that's some weak stuff. You know that's some deplorable behavior. You notice when you look down at your hand and you see that jizz <laughs> between your fingers. Sorry about that. When you see that jizz between your fingers, I know what you're thinking. You're like, man, gross. You wipe yourself down and, you know, go wash your hands or maybe you don't. I don't know. Just nasty, man. <laughs> just nasty man and if you say you don't <laughs> you a god dang liar man yo don't even come to this channel don't even watch my videos if if you lying to yourself and thinking that 
what you're doing is okay. That watching porn is okay. Fapping, masturbating, jerking off is okay. If you think that's fine, do you, man. I'm just going to tell you what I'm going through and the effects it's having on me, okay? So, when I was squandering away, man, my emotional state was just off. You know, it's like the chemicals in your brain, everything's off balance, you know? Because retaining is what keeps you in balance. And I'll tell you why, okay? You have a fluid from your brain, okay? Let me not lose you here. This is getting scientific, all right? You have brain in your fluid. This is called the cerebral spinal fluid, the CSF, okay? And this fluid is made in your brain in the pineal and the pituitary glands, okay? The pineal gland, that's where your third eye is. The pituitary gland is right behind the pineal gland, okay? And the pineal gland represents the male, pituitary, female, okay? Stick with me. Pituitary male, I mean uh, pineal male, pituitary female. Pineal represents the sun, pituitary represents the moon. Okay. Pineal represents the father, pituitary represents the mother. Okay, two different types of energy. So you have two glands from your brain that create the cerebral spinal fluid. Okay, from your pineal gland, the father, the son. comes a, a, a golden, golden-like substance, okay, it's a golden-like substance, a secretion that comes from your brain, from the pineal gland, and this is what's called the honey, alright, and then you have like a white oxytoxin type uh, serotonin, okay, from the pineal gland, the yellow one, the gold, that's the melatonin, from the pituitary gland, the female, the moon, the mother, you had the serotonin, which is white substance, the milk. So you have this milk and honey that comes from your brain. It's made. This is made from the ether. This is made from the spiritual realm. It comes from nowhere. It's made in your brain and then travels down your spine. It has these two glands that intertwine and go down your spine, crisscross. The milk and honey travels down your spine, down to 33 vertebrae. And all 33 of your vertebrae, all 33 of your, the bones in your spine are connected to different organs, different body parts. So it travels down your spine, collecting all this information. Information about you, information about the world around you, information about the food you're eating. Everything. Your whole DNA, everything, collects that information, travels down, and then intertwines, and these two glands meet. They cross and they meet down in your stomach where the solar plexus is. Now the solar plexus, that's the sun. There's a lot of heat being generated there, so when they meet in the solar plexus, that's when the semen is created, and then it goes down into your roots, into your sacral part of your body right and then if not squandered and kept for 30 days then whenever the Sun enters your moon sign which is I'll get into that whole, whole spiel later okay because every month whatever your sign is the moon enters your sign and during that time that's when you're supposed to raise your Kundalini that's when you're supposed to raise your vibration that's when you're supposed to fast meditate so you can let what you haven't squandered not go to waste so you can let it travel because it need in order for you to travel back up to spine to your brain okay after 30 days the semen gets re absorbed in your body but the cerebral spinal fluid travels back up so it, it travels back up to 33 collecting more information all the information is kept for 30 days it travels back up the spine all the way to your brain it has to pass through the heart to get back to your brain which it crystallizes your pineal and pituitary gland Okay, it decalcifies it and it activates neurons in your brains that have been dormant. It activates parts of your brain that have been sleep. 
so that 10% of your brain only being used this is why because you you squandering what you're supposed to be using to be giving you brain power you know what I'm saying so that's why you shouldn't squander away your semen this is why you must retain all right and then that leads into the mental aspect of the effects of watching porn when you when you release you're literally releasing all that brain power all that brain power so like I said the cerebral spinal fluid this is what gives you brain power and the CSF that comes from your brain from your pituitary and pineal gland this stuff mixes in with your semen so if you waste it you just literally jerked out your brain power you jerked out your creative power you jerked out your spiritual power because this protects you spiritually too all right so mentally when you squander it away that's why you can't focus that's why you can't think straight that's why you can't really get the answers to the questions that you're asking yourself this is why there's an imbalance going on in your mind you know you don't know what voice to listen to you got voices in your head because you're just wasting the precious fluid that that's supposed to help nourish and revitalize and and get give you brain power pretty much you know make you a brainiac okay this is word to Einstein Einstein only had sex with his wife twice a year that was every six months so only every six months he would get intimate with his wife but in between time he was not squandering away his semen I'll get into more of all the the people who have used semen retention okay there's a lot of them there's Mike Tyson there's Nikola Tesla Albert Einstein why was Albert Einstein a genius because he didn't squander away his brain power he held it in he meditated and the answers came to him and that's how it is that's how that's how geniuses are born okay if you want to get you have to give you have to sacrifice and definitely this is worth it if you're trying to be your highest self your highest version this is the sacrifice you're gonna have to make this is one of the hardest things you you might have to do this will be the hardest thing you have to do but after you do this everything else will fall into place you understand what I mean everything else will become easier to do you want to stop smoking this is the way to do it you want to become vegan this is the way to do it you want to become more spiritually inclined this is the way to do it you want to have better vivid dreams you want to start astral projecting this is the way to do it you want to start manifesting you want to become more magnetic and attract things to you that you want this is the way to do it you want to have female attraction okay you want to be stronger you want your workouts to be beast you gotta do semen retention okay now let's keep going let's talk about the spiritual dimensional dimensional <laughs> effects of squandering your vital life forces to porn okay not only does porn like give you a warped sense of reality you know cause when you watch it you don't know what's real and what's not I mean you're watching other people do what they do and that's just come on guys just think about it that's just gross you know what I mean that's just gross and um your whole sense of reality becomes warped because the way you look at the opposite sex is in a negative way you start looking at them as objects and you objectify them all the time this is this is the, I mean when I'm saying you I mean me because this is, was me okay so I know this is you because if it was me then this is everybody else too okay don't lie to yourself now don't come over here and lie to yourself be real okay a lot of y'all when you you're around a girl or a pretty girl you just don't know what to do and then later on you, you go into the bathroom and do and you know trying to do something about it instead of doing the right thing about it approaching her and talking to her but you rather just jerk off to the image of her I get it 
trust me, I get it. I'm a hundred days in. I'm a hundred days in. This is like the hardest thing I ever have had to do. A hundred days in. This is my first time retaining. Okay, my first time retaining ever. And this is my longest streak, and I want to make my first time the longest ever. Because then I know in the future if I need to go again, it won't be that hard. Because the first time I did it, I went as long as possible. So 100 days in, I'm definitely going to drop another video of all the positives and all the benefits. Because there's a thousand of them. But I'm going to break it down to 5, 10, or 20. I don't know. I'm going to try to give you guys a good list. Like I said, there's a hundred benefits. I've been jotting it all down. All down in my journal. Well, what's going on here? <laughs> yeah, some freaky stuff. Um Yeah, don't don't let this make you relapse. <laughs> Alright. I know we're talking about porn and everything and you know, first thing that comes up on the screen is Nice pair of tatas, but uh, just ignore it. I mean, when you go as long as I have, you get to the point where it's like, all right, it's there, whatever, what else? You know what I mean? I don't try to tempt myself, but it's to the point where I don't objectify anymore. I I look at faces now. You know, a pretty, a pretty face does it for me. You know, it's just little, little things about... Her lips, or her eyes, or her jaw, or whatever, just, you know, her neck, her ears, just little things like that. Instead of just looking at, you know, the obvious things that turn people on, right? But, that's not the point. The point is to stay focused, okay? So... Now, like I was saying, spiritually and dimensionally, how does this affect you? When you squander away your life force, okay, your semen has magnetic and electric properties to it, okay? Uh, I explain why. Like I said, the pineal and the pituitary gland, pineal being the father, pituitary being the mother, Pineal being the sun, pituitary being the moon, pineal being the male, pituitary being the female, pineal being the honey, pituitary being the milk. Okay, so spiritually, the pineal, which is the father, has electric properties. Okay, it's electric in nature. Okay, just like your mind. Your mind is electric. When you think, you send waves, electric signals. Okay, frequencies. Okay, which can vibrate and make sound. And depending on how powerful your thought is, you could probably create light. Okay, and then your pituitary, which is the female. Okay, has magnetic properties to it. Magnetic, just like the moon. Magnetic. Just like your heart. Your heart is the female brain. Okay, your brain, brain is the male brain, and then your heart is the female brain. Emotions, you feel. Okay, your heart attracts. Your heart is the magnet. Your brain is the electric. Okay, so when you have the pineal and the pituitary glands, and then the heart and the mind coming together as one, you have electromagnetism. Electromagnetism. Okay? And what is electromagnetism? Electromagnetism creates vibes, creates frequencies, creates sound, depending on how high the frequency and the vibe is, and sound in water, depending on the frequency, creates light. Just YouTube this. You can YouTube experiments where they use different sound frequencies. And project it into water and they literally create little stars little nebula little suns in water okay so the magnetic and electric properties of your semen 
okay that's that's why you can use this energy to create this energy could create a whole human being two legs two arms two eyes all that sorry about that this energy creates a whole another human being you know what I'm saying and this energy can be used to, to manifest and create in the real world too so basically if you don't squander away your electric electricism and magneticism guess what you can channel that channel your vibes channel your frequency to put yourself in alignment with what you want to manifest in this reality okay it's very simple it's like the law of attraction you know when you meditate and you store this energy in and you sun gaze and you moon gaze guess what you draw things closer to you because the semen is very very powerful has very powerful magnetic abilities and electric abilities and when you combine these two these two that's how you create matter that's how you start to create in this reality and manifest okay that's why female attraction works on semen retention because it's magnetism okay they can feel that magnetism and your electric powers is magnified too so they can feel that in your aura okay so spiritually you on a high vibrationally you on a high everything is just vibrating high and people can feel that you can feel that in your spirit in your aura when you look at people when you talk to people okay and when you keep squandering away guess what you're just leaving yourself open to other entities other fourth dimensional um, entities to uh, attach themselves to you to come into your world to break through your aura you know your aura is like a bubble every time you release that bubble just becomes lighter and lighter and weaker and weaker and these entities can just hop up in and just keep feeding off your energy keep feeding off your energy it's like a parasite it's right there just waiting to take that energy and as soon as you squander it let it go <gasps> <sighs> guess what something else is is feeding off of that and re-energized and just and just latching itself onto you and that's why you can't let it go that's why you can't seem to break this man that totally didn't work I'm trying to burn this fool and he's just walking through everything but yeah epic battle scene so yeah pretty much guys what I want to tell you is it's not really worth it it's not really worth it I can go on all day about why you shouldn't squander away your life force to porn but you guys already know this you know this deep down you know this is deplorable abhorrible horrible uh, disgusting shameful behavior Okay, which one would you rather have? Would you rather have someone walk in, walk in on you when you're, you know, getting busy with a, a female? Or would you rather have somebody walk in on you when you're getting busy to yourself? Nah, 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 nah. We already know. You already know. So, yeah, I mean, your brain... Your body, your spirit, your mind, all comes down to this one thing. This is this is the new normal. The new normal is making yourself a new man. This is how you become born again. You gotta let your cup overflow. You gotta save your energy, store it in as long as possible. Okay? As long as possible. So when you spill just a little bit, which like I said, I do not recommend do not spill but when you do spill you don't lose all your benefits you know what I'm saying when you do spill your cup is so full that it's not gonna seem like 
it's all over with, alright? So yeah, guys, like I was saying, I'm just gonna reiterate a little bit. Yeah, basically, like, the reason why you don't want to keep watching porn and fapping off and jerking off like a jerk-off is because when you watch porn, it makes you look at women as sex object and you objectify them, which is not good, okay? You want to look at the opposite sex. You want to look at women as people, as persons, as human beings. Okay, and being on similar attention will make you have a better perspective about the opposite sex. You won't be just looking for anybody. You, you, when you start to be on your spiritual purpose, your spiritual grind, you start to retain. You're going to want that one that is on the same spiritual vibe as you or at least trying to get there. Or at least understands why you're doing what you're doing. Because there's going to be... Succubuses out there that want to take your energy. Don't let them. Okay? Or, I don't recommend this. I recommend staying celibate. But if you do have a girlfriend, just don't nut. Just hold it in and try to transmute that energy upwards. Get her to do it too. Get her not to release. And store that energy in as long as possible. And only release it when you really have to. Which is what I'll say no less than every four to six months. Okay, I'm going a distance because I want my cup to overflow so much it's spilling. You understand what I mean? It's literally just spilling. It's flowing out the cup. I ain't, you know, I can't, you know. There's no more to hold inside. Which I don't know if that's possible. I just think you just keep getting better and better and better and better. You know, look at Mike Tyson. He did it for five, six years. And he was a beast. Knocking people out left and right. Alright? So, another reason why you should stop watching porn. Because it's like a dopamine high. It's just like heroin. Okay? It's literally just like heroin. And your brain doesn't know what to do getting high all the time. You need to go on a dopamine detox. Okay? So the things that... That gets you, that normally gets you high. You know, because I mean, when you fap off, the things that get you high don't get you high no more. So you want to get to the point where everything feels great, you know? The food tastes better, the air <laughs> tastes better to breathe. You know what I mean? Um, another reason why you stop watching porn fourth dimensional entities attach themselves to yourself because you're in a lower vibratory state and when you're in a low vibe when you're in the lower parts of your chakra and you're only walking working from the lower parts of your uh sh your chakras negative entities can attach themselves to you they 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 work in lower vibratory spaces so they you're just inviting these entities to attach themselves to you and work through you and that's why you're always drained that's why you just never seem to have any energy okay Another reason you should stop watching porn, I mean, if you look at a lot of the serial killers, you do your research on them, they all had an addiction to porn in some way. And that addiction to porn eventually led them to being sick in the head and having sick thoughts and making them want to do sick things to, to people. Okay, so just know that. Just know that the more you watch your porn, the more your mind is going to be like a serial killer, okay? And I'm pretty sure that's not what you want. And it's, there's no place in society for masturbating. It's a bad habit. It's a poor rule. It's disgusting. There's no place for it. Okay? So, those are all the negative effects of watching porn. Physically, emotionally, spiritually, biologically, mentally, dimensionally. I mean, I can go on and on and on and on and on. Okay? So, in this, in this video... It's pretty much the reasons why you shouldn't watch porn, but also the reasons why you must retain. This is what's going to make you a new man. This is what's going to make you born again. This is the new normal. Take back your masculinity. Take back your power. Because that's all they want. They want you to squander away your power. They want you to be a weak male. They want you to be soft. They want you to be docile. 
so he can be easily manipulated and controlled. Let's take back our masculinity. Let's take back our power, guys. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for tuning into my channel. If you liked what you saw, you liked it, just leave a like button and subscribe. And if you have any questions, just ask them below in the comment section and I'll make sure I answer it. And uh, yeah, I just want to say thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. And uh, if you like this game, The Witcher, I'll also leave a link in the description. So you can go and uh, purchase the game on Amazon if you like. Uh, I definitely recommend this game. It's uh, if, 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 if five stars is the highest, I'll give it six. <laughs> you know, because it's just, it's like that. Alright? So yeah, um, thank you guys for watching. This is King Astro. And I'll see you later.